How you going guys, Sam here from Check Your Bank Brewery and today I'm going to be introducing you to our new Triclover Modular Font. As you can see in front of me, I've got all our uh, fonts, beer fonts set up in front of me, all in modular form. Um, so when we created these fonts, we wanted to make a modular uh, beer font system that you could completely uh, create to your own needs. Uh, so specifically, specifically if you wanted to start small, say with one tap, and then build out to multiple taps. Uh, so that was the number one thing, is to make sure that uh, no matter where you're at, if you're uh, running one tap, two tap, three taps, you could always build onto your fonts to make a, uh, the font that really suited your needs. Uh, so we really wanted to make it flexible in terms of design as well. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, we've got them in copper, but we've also got them in stainless as well. Uh, so to really bling it up if you want to using copper, um, you can do that, otherwise you can just keep to the standard stainless uh, beer fonts. So as I just touched on before, it's um, completely modular. So we really wanted to give you full creative control when you do these, uh, when you build out your own uh, beer font. Uh, so you can see the triclover fittings up here. It's all clamped on uh, with your standard triclover fittings, uh, whether it's two inch uh, or these three inch uh, triclover fittings here. Down here you can see as it's broken down, it's all broken down on these T pieces and some straight pieces here. You can also add on these elbows to make these U sort of uh, designs here. Uh, so that's completely up to you. Uh, and the biggest advantage there of the, the triclovers too is that a lot of brewers are using triclover uh, fittings across uh, lots of different uh, stages of their brewing process, whether it's their other um, their, their brewing systems or their fermenters and things like that. So all these triclovers, you can multi-use them over different bits of equipment. So we really wanted to make sure um, when you were building your beer fonts, uh, depending on how many taps you are running, if you wanted to start at one, you could, as I said before. We really wanted to make sure that when you upgrade to two or three, you didn't have to move on that whole font. So that's why every single piece here completely breaks down and then you can redesign it uh, depending on how many caps you have. Or if you have another creative design in your head, such as you want to go from uh, just a T-bar into a, a U uh, font, and you can do that, but you don't have to move on your whole uh, beer font to start a, a, a brand new one. So one thing we noticed when people were designing their own uh, their own bar systems at home uh, using say the standard fonts is they were restricted in the sort of size of, of the heights of um, their, their fonts they could use. So uh, some people were sitting their, their fonts down below the bar a little bit but they weren't quite high enough to, to be practical for use. Uh, so that's the flexibility that having a, a, a font system like this is going to give you. Um, because you can use these straight pieces down here. So these are the 300 mil straight pieces. Um, but if you wanted a little bit, little bit more height, um, you could use, say, at the back here, this big U font. Uh, this has got 500 mil straight pieces. Uh, so you can see the 300 mil down the front here, or 500 mil, depending on your height or your specific design of your bar. So it's going to give you a lot more flexibility and creative control uh, when you start to design your own beer font at home. So all these beer fonts are set up, as you can see, they've got the standard 22 mil holes. Uh, so all these are specifically designed for our short shanks that we sell. Um, you can also use all the short shanks that you get standard with your, um, your kegerators that you can buy out in the market. Uh, so they're simply gonna uh, install straight into these 22 mil holes, uh, just like any other standard font that you have. So if you've already got a, a font that you're using home with those short shanks, and you wanna upgrade to something like uh, uh, these modular fonts, you're still going to be able to use those shanks and install them into these modular fonts. So when you're designing your modular font, as I've said before, you've got complete creative control, so you can really let your imagination run wild. Um, we've tried to give you a few examples on the table here of how creative you can get. Uh, so we've given examples of this sort of Y, y style, uh, but also we've given the example of um, using sight glasses. So if you really want to get creative and really want to bling it up, um, you can get really fancy like that and put sight glasses on there quite easily. They're going to just tri-clover 
uh, onto the mounting frame down here. Um, also with the U fonts, um, it's getting quite popular in the, in the beer scene uh, using these U style fonts. Um, so you can get as creative as you want to make uh, one, two, three, four, uh, even up to nine, 10 taps um, in this U um, style font uh, system. So one other key feature of these modular tri-fonts is the mounting plate uh, to connect the fonts onto your beer system. Uh, so as you can see here, you've got the four holes at the front there. Um, so it's up to you if you've got your own bar and you're going to install these onto your own bar. It's going to be as simple as just uh, mounting it straight to your bar with your hole in the top of your bar. Uh, but also what these are specifically designed for is your standard keg rater uh, beer systems that you see out in the market. Uh, so if you've already got uh, a keg rater system, you're easily going to be able to replace that font on there, um, clamp down this mounting frame, and then to build your uh, modular tri-font onto that uh, kegerator uh, quite simply.